Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Manjaro driver installer. So I'm in a virtual machine just because I don't have Manjaro installation on bare metal right now, but uh, this VM will work fine. So in this video, we're going to use the graphical installer, but if you want to learn how to use the terminal version of this app, go ahead and check the link in the description. Also just to check out and learn a little bit about how this works. So to start off, open up the menu. If you're using the XFCE version, you can just click the settings, all settings button, or just search for the system settings. It's different depending on what distributions, uh, or the distribution of Venture you're using. So if you're using GNOME or whatever, you're going to have to find the settings app on your own, but just make sure you get there. And then you need to look for Manjaro settings manager. Now you open that one up and then you can go to, let's see, hardware configuration. Click on that. Now you can install your own, your favorite driver. So I am using Video VirtualBox right now. If I want to install Video Vesa, I can right click on it and click install. It's going to do a bunch of stuff and I click yes, enter my password. I will authenticate and uh, it will grab the packages and do everything. It does everything in the back end through Pac-Man and their MWHD tool, but it's all done in this nice UI. It's pretty fast because Manjaro is fast. Uh, and also you can also, you can show all, all devices if you should click the show all devices button, by the way, you guys. Um, so we see that uh, the new driver is successfully installed. And if you look through here, you can see the readout uh, and that is how it works. If you want to uninstall a driver, you can right click and click remove. You can also reinstall if you're having problems, but to remove, you can just click that remove button, enter the password again. It will go through and you can click show details for information and it will delete it. And then from there you can click quit, reboot your system. If you just installed a new driver and that will activate it usually if it doesn't right away. Uh, but yeah, that is how you use the Manjaro driver installer on Linux. For more information about this, if you have questions, check out the link in the description of this video. Anyways, guys, I got to get going, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.